Welcome friends. Part of learning the ropes on the Troy Built Horse Tiller is figuring out how to replace the drive belt. I promised to do a video on that, so let's get into it. I'll show you how to remove, install, and adjust the tension on the drive belt. The first time you look at this drive belt, which is in here, and the belt pulleys inside this cast housing, it looks nearly impossible to take the belt out without doing a lot of disassembly work. But I'm able to do it with just my bare hands and fingers, with no tools. It's actually a very simple concept. It's a little bit difficult to do, but in the end it takes less than 10 minutes. Really, once you've practiced it a few times like I have, takes about five minutes to change the belt out. But now that I've practiced doing it like three times so I could show it more clearly on video, it's really not that bad. And the good news is I was able to do it using no tools, just my hands and fingers in there. So you want to be careful, but it's very doable. It isn't easy, but it's more doable than it might look. So it's important to point out that the top pulley is on the motor output shaft and the bottom pulley is on the gearbox input shaft. So the top pulley is the driver, the bottom pulley is driven by the belt. In order to remove the belt, since the shaft is here on top, the belt has to go off the pulleys that way. And since the shaft is on the back side, on the bottom, the belt has to go toward the engine to pull off the pulleys. When I operate the forward and reverse linkage, you can see that in reverse, the pulleys get closer together. They actually touch. And then in forward, that's when the belt gets tighter, the pulleys spread apart and tighten the belt. That's how you engage the drive. So I'll just show you what that looks like here. That's reverse. The top and bottom pulleys are actually touching. That's how you, that's how you get reverse gear. The pulleys literally ride against each other and uh, the top one drives the bottom one with a rubber ring around it. It's like a friction ring. And then forward tightens the tension on the belt to drive forward. And then that's, I guess you could say, neutral. In the middle, the belt is disengaged. Okay, to bring the drive pulley and the driven pulley closer together. I'm going to force this thing up into reverse mode, which you should see there is actually pulling those two pulleys closer together. And I'm just securing it with a bungee here just to hold it. So you need to consider that in order for this belt to come off the top pulley, it needs to move in that direction away from the engine. Obviously if it moves toward the engine it can't pull off because that's where the motor shaft is. And then for the belt to pull off from the bottom pulley it needs to move forward on the tiller or toward the engine or to the left of this image. And so actually the first thing you're going to do, and I'll see if I can do this without getting my fingers in the way too much, is just move that belt forward. But that's not forward enough. I'm going to engage reverse mode, like I showed. Which 
which brings the two pulleys closer together. And that throws some slack down here so you can easily get the belt off from the bottom. And now I'm going to throw it into forward drive mode. So what that does, and hopefully you can see, putting it in drive mode spreads those pulleys out a couple inches. It gives space for the belt to slide between the pulleys as it's being removed. So now that the belt has been slipped off the bottom pulley by moving it toward the bottom of the engine, and the pulleys have been separated by putting it in forward drive mode. I can reach down here and move the belt. You can also grab it from the back and pull on it. See how it's pulling? I pulled it up from the bottom. Now I need to get it off the uh, top pulley. So the first thing is to move it back in alignment with that rearward shiv. It's never in this front one on mine. It's always in this rear one. And then since it's off of there, I can now work it. And I have to reach over both, si both sides to do this, but just work it toward the back. You see this? See where I'm pulling it? And pull out. Since it's off the pulley, you can just pull it out. It would be easy to say that you just follow the opposite procedure when you're installing the new belt. The problem is the new belt is wider because it's not worn and it's much stiffer. Again, because it's not worn, it hasn't been, it hasn't been uh, used for hours and hours. But you need to work that belt in there, put it around that pulley, it's around the top pulley, and get it into the, the top shiv just like that. So it is just the opposite of what I did to remove it. Then take and push this loop down. toward the engine, toward the engine side of that bottom pulley. And you may need to go to the other side to make sure everything stays where it goes. And you can reach under the bottom here and pull down on it. You need to just make sure that everything stays in a line. alignment with that top shiv. Okay. Now it obviously isn't going to go around the bottom pulley because the drive pulley and the driven pulley are as far apart as they can get. So I, now I want them closer. I'm going to take it out of forward drive. give me a little more space to work. Continue to work it downward.
pushing on both sides, just pushing it down in there like so. Now I can work it across the bottom. It looks just like that on both sides of the machine. From the bottom, I'm pushing the belt. So I push the belt from the bottom and it's it's around the outer shiv or the the forward shiv on this. I need it to go to the rear shiv. And in order to do that now I need to put it in reverse drive again. And so I need to lock that reverse drive with the bungee like I did before. And that's it. And just to make sure everything's aligned and seated properly, I'm going to put it back into drive. And you'll see that that slack loop on the bottom gets pulled out of it. Yep, that's it. It's good. Now I'll show you that slack loop in the belt drop away from the shiv as I take it out of drive mode. So that's slack right there. And that belt is tight. Need to loosen that bolt there, which holds this tensioning detent in place. My goal is to adjust that, slide that detent up until that cam follower drops underneath of it. And that's what holds it down. Takes a 9 16th wrench, open end. See how far it has to move up. That may be too far up. I'm going to tap it down just a little bit. See, I want that can follower just under that. Just underneath there, like it is there. That's good right there. That's going to hold tension on the belt. Can't even get on it with this non-ratcheting wrench. Except, of course, if I did this. She's tight. Yeah. 
That's the easy part. Thank you for watching. Please take a moment to like and subscribe.